sometimes we are connecting to your SQL server, logical SQL server from Azure. I mean, from your SSMS tool, you try to connect to the logical SQL server hosted in Azure. You may see this kind of connection, error. Connection was denied since the deny public network access set to yes. Then where to control this public network access settings? Let's see, A simple, straightforward concept. Go to your Azure account. Show networking settings. This one. Show networking settings. Okay. Once you go to your networking settings, let's wait for a few moments. Let's wait for a few moments. It would give you a set of options where we are right now. Simply go to networking settings. Still loading. Took some time and yes, it got loaded. Here, by default, public network access is disabled. Okay. We need to set enable. You have to give to a specific network. Disable, no other options. Enable, then comes few other additional options how you would like to control the access yes you would like to have either virtual networks details or firewall details any one of these two the logical sql server has to be securely accessible based on virtual networks or firewall rules or even both let me show you now i am using my local sql server i don't have any virtual network configuration with me i am using my local sql server so let me have a firewall rule click on add your client what is this client this is my ip address no problem i'll restart my router my ip address will change i'm using a dynamic ip once you click here, this means only for the currently connected client. Sorry for the sounds over there. So small. Please shake your mic, sister. Please, please, please shake your mic, please. Please mute. Thank you. Where we are now? This is IP, okay? For example, friends, this is what is my IP.com. Gives you an IP address, okay? 49, 37, 134, and 130. This is my public IP address, okay? Public IPv4 address. The same IP address is here 49, 37, 134, 139. I'm exposing my IP address, not a problem. I'm going to restart my router and everything will get reset. I'll reset my router and get it. Anyway, no, not an issue. Now, we are adding current client IP, right? Click save. This is enough to resolve the problem locally. Just click save. I'll just give a retry. Just click save. Just click save here. Okay. It saved successfully. Just retry once again. Okay. This is only for the current machine. Only I can access. The server from my current network current tool from my operating system but what about my clients my customers add a firewall rule the second option let me add a global rule with ip address you remember friends last week storage account while generating the sas key it's asking for the IP range. You remember everyone? SAS key. Yes, IP sir. Range. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sir. Yep. Suresh, are you there, dear? Suresh, do you hear me? Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes, I can hear you. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, dear. Yep. This one. Just click OK. Just like the SAS key of the storage account that can help us to accept the connections within a specific IP range. Here the same story. 
give some IP range. In our example right now, I'm giving 0 to 255. Practically, it depends. Practically, the things may be in a different way. Practically speaking, your dev team may have one IP address range. DBS may have one IP address. Azure Redmills may have one IP address. DevOps may have one IP address. Data analysts may have some other IP address. Right? Different teams, different IP addresses. And we need to get them added here in the portal for each team. Okay, each team, like dev team, test team, etc. For our easy understanding towards solution to the error. Let's have one global IP range for now. But remember, this is not the uh, correct way, okay? In real world, you will be given a specific IP address or spe specific IP range, mostly by your network admins, okay? Provide that IP address. For our easy learning, I'm showing you a sample IP range. Click Save. If first attempt is not working, just give a re retry again, nothing wrong, and get your firewall settings saved correctly. Once it is done, whatever IP address range you are supposed to get it carefully, then once you save it back to our screen, remember server name, authentication login password, and I'm going to reuse these connections in my future examples. Click connect got it everyone please the connection but uh, there is no security from uh, 0 to 255 right? we are allowing all the restricted uh, exactly. IP addresses. A global so, range it's a global range global. exactly yes in real world mostly we go with a specific range okay specific range. one range test team another range data science team some other range in this way Got it, Suresh. Yeah. Yeah. Five Based on the, the databases and access has been provided. Yes. Anyway, we have a secondary level access where you got login password, right? You got it now. Yes. yes you got yes, my yes, point yes. now. Yep. We are talking from yes, network sir. perspective. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yep. I repeat one second, friend. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. Come on. How to get the Azure SQL Server home? Come on, friends. How to get the server name now? Please, everyone, please. How to get the logical server name? Come on, please, everyone. SQL server, logic. SQL system. All, all resources, all resources. Right. All resources. Ramya Krishna, Rajesh, Nagin, Ram, please check for my Satish, please. Please, I request. Server. 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 Next. SQL database. Overview. There is a. Yeah, yeah. Not SQL database. SQL database is to verify your existing database, the migrated database. Overview. 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 Next. Server name. Overview. Server name. Exactly. Copy the server name. Copy the server name. Okay, this one. For some reason you don't remember the password, then here it is. Reset the password. Okay, just in case. In case. You can reset the password. For now, server name ready. Networking done for the firewall settings. Login ready. Copy and here it is. Provide the server name, login name, password. First time you see firewall problem, we resolved it. We connect. Once we connect, this is the database that we are talking about, right? Remember, from on-premise to Azure migration. Got it, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. Right. New query. Yes. You can start yes, sir. performing the operations now. It's online, right? You're connected. Start performing the operations. Yes, we are more concentrating on how to resolve the connection problem. Okay. So please make sure whenever you have any connection error pertaining to the networking settings, show networking settings. This is the option to resolve the problem. 